Welcome to this free lesson on applications of rational expressions. Um, so in this video, I'm just going to talk about proportion problems. So this is uh, a set of videos I've built out specifically for my class. Um, if there are some types of problems that you'd like to see that I didn't cover, feel free to uh, leave some uh, questions in the comments and I might be able to make another video. Um, so just as a quick reminder, um, so in the videos, what you're going to want to do is pause the video when prompted and try the examples at your own pace. You can always pause any part of the video whenever you need to if you need to go over the details at a, at a different pace. Um, and there are free guided notes available, um, which might be very handy for this lesson. So we're talking about proportion problems. Um, so first we have to just know what is a proportion. So a proportion is just um, really a statement that says two ratios are equal. So that's really it. Um, I kind of like these types of problems because I think they're, they have a very straightforward flow. So just to make these easier to read, I actually um, just typed these out. These are exactly what's in the guided notes. Um, so uh, this just kind of saved me a little bit of time for this video. So uh, starting with this first one. So a bakery can make 300 cookies in 1.5 hours. How long would it take to make 525 cookies? So this is kind of the classic proportion problem. You will always kind of be given some sort of baseline information like this. So 300 cookies in 1.5 hours. So what you want to do is you want to just make sure you have a very clear structure for how you want to set up your proportions. So um, as a guideline, I always like to kind of write this out. So I've got cookies to hours. So I just want to make sure that my numbers are kind of fitting in this way. So then I can actually set this up. So 300 cookies in 1.5 hours, okay? That's the first part. Then it says, how long would it take to make 525 cookies? So now this is we're setting up the second proportion. So this would be 525, and what we don't know is the amount of hours, right? So that's actually naturally where our x is gonna go. And now we've got the setup. So like I said, nice and straightforward, for a setup here. Now, when you have one fraction equal to another, um, what that allows you to do is there's actually um, a really clear setup. Sorry, I don't know if you guys could just hear my dog barking. I had to go and tell her to stop. Okay, so what I was saying, just lost my train of thought, um, is uh, so to solve problems like this, so there's a, a nice, uh, easy way to actually solve these. So you can do cross multiplication. So that's the idea of going this way and this way. So I can do 300 times x equals 1.5 times 525. And so I can just solve that. So if I keep going with this, so I get 300x equals 787.5 and then I divide both sides by 300. And ultimately I get x equals 2.625. Now remember, we're actually trying to um, keep the context of this, so you need a label. And this is where having this guide is really helpful. So you were just solving for x, x has to do with hours, so this would be this many hours, and that would be how you'd solve that one. Okay, so this next one works very similarly, so maybe you want to pause the video and try this on your own. So um, it talks about, so the ratio of patrons at a cafe who purchase coffee versus those who purchase tea is um, five to three. On Monday, the cafe sold 45 teas. How many coffees were sold? So here is kind of the way that we want to set this up, and it says coffee versus tea, really. So I have coffee versus tea, and now I can set this up. So this is five to three on one side. And then it says on Monday, the cafe sold 45 teas. So just be careful with that then, right? This will go here and it's asking for how many coffees. So there's my setup this time. And once again, I can do it the same way. So I've got three X equals uh, five times 45. So three X will equal 200 and 25 and then I divide both sides by 3 and I get that x 
equals 75. 75 what? Well, remember, we're solving here. It's talking about coffees. And so there's our answer. Okay, um, so I have just one more that's a little bit different from the last two. So again, if you want to pause the video, uh, give it a try, and then hit play when you're ready. So a painter makes a particular shade of orange by using three parts red and four par parts yellow. Then three parts red, four parts yellow. So I want to just make this red to yellow. And so then I've got three parts red and four parts yellow. So the painter has four more gallons of yellow paint than he has of red paint. How many gallons of red paint should he use? So this is going to be a little bit different. Um, so in this case, maybe I want to just say, I don't know how much red paint he has, right? So I can call that X. But it says for yellow paint, he has four more gallons than he has of red paint. So this is a quantity. So when you look at this, this is a quantity given in terms of the red paint. So this means then that this is however much red paint he has plus four more gallons. So that would be the setup for this one. So it's a little bit different, but you still solve it the same way. So it's going to be four X equals three times all of X plus four. And then you have to distribute. So this is going to be four X equals three X plus 12. Um, and so then this one, if I just, oops, uh, subtract my three X to the other side. So then I get just X equals 12. So then this would be 12 gallons of red paint. Okay, and so that's it for just proportion examples. I, I think that kind of covers it. So if you found this helpful, please like this video, comment with questions, and subscribe and sh share. My goal is to provide free math help to everybody. And I will see you guys next time.